lovely and amazing subscribers it's been such a long time did you miss me i know you do <laughs> i know you do but i'm so happy to be back here i'm really happy to be back um i had an issue with my youtube channel uh, which i had to rectify so that was why i wasn't you know uploading videos but now i'm back i'm back with a banger like <laughs> i'm back like i never left um i'm so i'm so happy to be back to work and you know from now and forth you'll be getting non-stop you know juicy news from me daily as always you know how we do it today i'm just here you know we all know that um cbn has said that they want to redesign the naira in quotes we don't know why they are doing it it doesn't have any economical influence on the naira as at now we even know that the naira has really depreciated it has really gone down you know as as at now that i'm speaking one dollar is equal to 900 naira we don't know what cbn is doing they are not doing anything so far to improve you know to increase the value of the naira but all they say they are doing now is you know redesigning the naira we don't understand how that is going to stop um kidnapping and banditry they say it's going to help track um corruption maybe there is there's a code in, in, in uh, encryption that they are going to do on the naira no one knows as at now but today i just all i know is that um, it will be really difficult for those are politicians who have stored money away in storex and in their homes so now you know break, introduce that money back into the system how are they going to do it are they going to pack those uh, billions of naira millions of naira to the bank and then try to you know reabsorb them back into the system we don't know how they are going to do it yet but the cbn pardon me the efcc has come out to say that hmm they already have three governors on their radar who are trying to reintroduce all this embezzled money all the stolen funds back into the system by now reintroducing cash payment for their workers hmm. these all are all these are corrupt politicians they have sense they have sense but we are looking at them like with microscope we are monitoring them of course we know that we know that no matter how loud we shout the federal government will still do what they want to do they might just be deaf here to what whatever is going on i mean they might just turn the blind eye to whatever is going on but before we go into details of what is actually going on if you have not subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe Give this video a massive thumbs up if you like it. I know you do. Um, lastly, turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. Three seven state governors are under monitoring over moves to launder cash through table payment of salaries to workers. The chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Abdul Rashid Bawa, has disclosed. Although the EFCC boss did not reveal the identities of the three governors, but in an interview with Daily Trust, Bawa said two of them were from the north, while the third one was from the southern part of a country. He added that intelligence at the agency's disposal revealed that the three governors had concluded plans to inject the money into the system through table payment of their state workers' salaries. Bauer said, Let me tell you something, the intel that I have yesterday, and I would want you to take this thing very seriously. Already, some state governors have some of these cash stashed in various houses and the rest are not are now trying to pay salaries and cash in their states, he told Daily Trust. He was asked whether the commission would summon the said governors. Bauer simply said they were closely monitoring them. He said, I don't know how they want to achieve that, but... We have to stop them from doing that. 
well we are working they have not paid the salaries and cash yet but it is a very serious thing he said noting that the act was against section 2 of the money laundering prohibition act the law is very clear regarding cash transactions anybody that is to consummate any cash transaction as an individual if it is not through a financial institution must not be above five million and if it is above that it is criminal for you to engage in such transaction and for corporate entities it is 10 million naira. yes i agree the salaries are not up to that but why are you all of a sudden and all along you have been paying people's salaries through their bank accounts and now you want to pay them in cash what are you trying to do they will come under a lot of guises they are trying to do verification of officers that that is what we have gotten bauer said recall that the central bank of nigeria had indicated readiness to redesign the 200 naira 500 naira and 1000 naira banknotes on october 26 the cbn had announced that the country's currency would be redesigned to address many issues that had negative effects on nigerians economy for me i don't know what kind of problem what kind of uh, economic crisis the redesigning of the naira is going to solve but the only reason why i'm just like thinking that okay maybe this might be a good idea is the fact that all those all those people all those politicians who have stashed money in warehouses you know in the uh, storex in their homes wherever they are now panicking because they, they are thinking of ways to reintroduce them these monies back into the system and if they are not able to do it it means that they have lost their money that is why these said governors are now trying to pay workers salaries and cash. Workers that have always been paid salaries through the bank, they are now trying to use this method to reabsorb this money back into the system. Hmm. Now, Bawa said that they have this intel, this information. Now, my question is, should he come to the public? Should he come on, you know, a news channel to now tell the public that this is what we have discovered? when they do not have enough evidence to go ahead and persecute these people. If you ask me, I think it should have waited until these people actually implement, you know, what their information has said. They should be closely monitored, like he said, and they should have waited for these people to actually do what, you know, the information says. And by then they would already have, you know, solid evidence to actually charge these, these people to court and make them pay for what they have done thank you very much for always listening and watching this is where i'm going to draw the curtain for now i'll see you in my next video if you haven't subscribed again please make sure you subscribe bye for now